every once in a while I get one of these kits off of eBay that it, you can't tell who the manufacturer is but it looks interesting so I, I, I go ahead and get it and this is one of those such kits so it's a woolly mammoth skeleton as far as I can tell and it says it says mammoth on here and it says fossil series but there's there's no company logo or anything like that so I'm gonna just I'm gonna unbox it right now and we're gonna see what we can see on this I I've kind of my next thing to do I think is going to be skeletons um, I've got a few different dinosaur and, and prehistoric animal skeleton kits so I'm kind of thinking I want to do that right now and then I'll come back to other stuff later so I'm gonna uh, let's just unbox this let's just see what this is about um, so it's got the handle is taped I guess this at one point sat on uh, hung on a rack in a store so let's see here so I'm looking at the instructions here and they're they're decent instructions and it looks like one side is in French and the other side is in English made for the tot company montreal toronto vancouver printed in japan okay batat b-a-t-t-a-t -T -T -A -T. um wow i i don't know okay so it's got a and and often the, the skeleton kits have a lot going on with them they've got a lot of parts um, they do have a picture of the sprues. I, I think that's, I kind of like that because you can inventory the parts. So let's do that. Let's, let's see what kind of parts we've got here. And, oh, this is nice. The parts are individually packaged. Look at this. Here's, looks like a rub cage and some feet. Instead of all being in one package, you can kind of see them. So that's kind of cool. Uh, we have some tusks. And I'm not sure what else here. And here are the rest of the parts with the spine. And yeah, and it looks like part of the skull. So this is kind of a batat. Uh, I'm going to have to look that up on the internet. I don't know. So this is going to be my next one. We're going to see where this goes. Now, painting-wise, I had uh, painted a T-Rex skeleton. and Or I, I did one of the Bandai uh, imaginary skeleton Tyrannosaurus models. And I first painted it because I wasn't going to sure if I was going to be able to get into all the little nooks and crannies and then assembled it. I think this one I'm going to assemble and then paint because it's, it's an experiment I wanted to do. Um, because when you paint stuff first, then you've got to go back and remove the paint from wherever you want to cement the parts together because otherwise the paint will prevent the plastic to plastic contact. So I'm gonna try assemble first, then paint. Uh, sadly, it doesn't look like this comes with a base or a nameplate, which is disappointing because I like bases and I certainly like nameplates. But here we go. We're gonna see what this adventure is about. Let's jump on in.
I have completed the patat. I think I'm saying that right. Batot uh, mammoth skeleton here. Um, fairly easy kit to build. Um, the pins, for some reason, I had a couple break pretty easily. Not sure what that's about. But, um, uh, oh well, uh, that sometimes happens. And so you just glue it best you can sometimes you have to use, use super glue and i did on this one but overall uh, the head is a bit droopy for some reason i don't know why but it is anyway so it's done um i looked up batat it looks like they're a toy manufacturer out of canada i they've got some dinosaur toys but i didn't really see anything similar to this so anyway here it is it's done um it had some odd packaging it was just this and just this very plain set of instructions and it also came with and i don't know why this little teeny tiny piece of sandpaper didn't give any explanation in the instructions for the little teeny tiny piece of sandpaper but there was a little teeny tiny piece of piece of sandpaper oh didn't didn't need it anyway uh here we go so i'm i'm pretty pleased with the paint job um kind of came together at the end kind of in a surprising way um it it is a little little bit of an impressionistic um uh paint job but sometimes suggesting something is better than getting really teeny tiny detail because the human eye the way that it works so anyway done here i'm going to continue on with more skeletons i've got uh some Bandai skeletons I'm going to do next. So stick around, more adventures to come.